who belongs. Who belongs in our communities? Who belongs in California? For PICO, our people are based spanning across federation organizations in the Bay to Southern California, in the Empire, and Central Valley. Our people have been increasingly feeling like they don't belong. Our crisis reaching unprecedented levels of displacement and unaffordability has sparked an exodus, a forced migration of families leaving communities, some leaving the state entirely, and our lifeblood of our communities disappear. So to our culture and our identity as California as an inclusive state for all. We are addressing the number one issue of the day, and that is the worst housing crisis in California state history. We need to ensure that we're moving forward aggressive policies in all of the three Ps around production, preservation, and protection. I have bills in each of these areas, and today I'd like to highlight two of them. First, AB 10 would help turbocharge affordable housing production by significantly expanding our state's affordable housing tax credit. We know by expanding the affordable housing tax credit by $500 million, uh, we will be helping to leverage hundreds of millions of dollars of federal funds and ensuring that we're building some of the affordable housing that we need around the state. But we also know that without protection, we can build or we can entitle as many units as we want. Even if we were to entitle three and a half million units of housing today, we will have at least a decade or two of being able to build the housing that we need for everyone. And we need to help protect individuals to live in place. And this is why AB 1482 is so important our bill that would prohibit egregious rent gouging in the state of California. With 15 million tenants in our state, many of whom are one rent increase away from financial catastrophe, we have proposed structuring a rent gouging cap that prohibits the most egregious rent increases, but allows reasonable room for profit from those in the rental housing industry. We also include an exemption for new construction so that this cap does not get in the way of new production. The idea that we can solve this means that we have to solve it by working on tenant protection, affordable housing preservation, and housing production at all levels of affordability at the same time. Uh, and they all need to happen together. We need to make sure that we are protecting millions of tenants, uh, many of whom, uh, literally half of all renters, 80% of all low-income renters are rent burdened, who spend over a third of their income every month on housing, who are literally, again, one rent increase away from being evicted.